All right, so this video is going to show an example of another rule that we can apply. So this rule is called the most number of followers. Of followers or following tasks. So let's look about it. Let's look at an example of how that works. So using our very same scenario, everything stays the same. It's just when we get down to the allocations of the tasks to the particular stations that we're applying a different rule. So as before, nothing can happen until A is done. So A has to go into station one. Okay, now from this point, uh, as to what task goes in next, we're gonna use this most number of following tasks. Whoops, so what we do there is, um, let's, let's we'll, we'll mark things as we have. So, so A is in, so our candidates then are B and C. That's it, those are our only two choices. So now what we're gonna do is we're literally going to count, I'm gonna say B, and I'm gonna count how many tasks are ahead of it until we get to the end. So starting with B, then I'm gonna go, so B goes one following, two following, three following tasks, all right? Now, what about C? So C has one, two, three. If I go that route, one, two, three, or if I go this route, one, two, three. They all have three. So we have a tie, we have a tie. So lots of tiebreakers, but, um, Again, we're gonna just stick to the rule, which says I can choose whichever one I want since they were all tied. I can enter B or I can enter C. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter C. And C was 50. All right, so C is entered. So I'm gonna mark it as entered. So it's, it's done. It's done. So any more candidates? Yes, so now, F is a candidate and G is a candidate. So revert back now to the most number of followers. So I'm gonna count. So B is a candidate. So how many followers? One, two, three. So B has three. I'll just put in a little three and circle that. And then the other candidates are F and G. And F has one, two, so F's got two. And G has one, two, so G has two. Most number of followers? put in B, put in B. So B is 30. So can't put it in station two. Can't do it because we exceed 60. So let's go to our next most number of followers. Well, F and G were the same. They were the same. Two followers for each one of them. And so um, I can look and I can see, well, F certainly can't fit in there because we exceed 90, if I put F in, that's 90, which exceeds 60. Can I put G in? G is, um, it's tie for most number of followers. G though can't fit in either. So, so none of them can go into station two. So now let's go to station three and return to the most number of followers and the, long, the most number is B. So I'm gonna put B in station three and B is, 30, 30 seconds. All right, so let's tag B as entered and see if that opens up any more candidates. And yes, it does. B and E are now candidates. Okay, so now I have to decide which to go in. Now, this is an example where we've got an awful lot of ties, don't we? So I can look at, at D now and it has one, two to get to the end. E has one, two to get to the end. So we're tied again. All of them have um, two for the number of followers. So let's go ahead and we can just do a, a, um, a tiebreaker. So, um, and I'm probably gonna look at time. Well, D can't go in there because that would be um, exceeded. E fits in there. E does fit in there. So I could put, put E there. Let's see what else would fit. Does F fit? No, F can't go in there. Can G go in there? Yes. So actually, um, E and G, which were were had this, you know, were tied for most number of followers. Both of those can go in there. So I'll go ahead and put G and I in. And G was fifteen. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say I. I meant to say E. 
E, and E is six. So those fit in there, and that is 45, so that is um, 51. All right, so 51 in that station. So um, let's take what we put in. We put in G and E, B, G, and E. So we'll mark those as E, so E's in and G's in. So did that open any new ones? Well, it does. It opens up E as a candidate, as a candidate. So I'm going to go to my most number of followers, and we've got D, I, and, oh, G's in. I didn't mark G in. Did I mark? I marked um, F incorrectly. F is not in. F is still there. It was G that I put in. So G's in. All right, so there we go. Now it's corrected. We've got to, our choices then, our candidates are D, F, and I. And let's look at most number of followers. So D still has two, one, two. F has one, two, and I has only one. So definitely I is the low one, but it's a tie between D and F. So let's go ahead and um, we'll put D in. Or let's see, I think I'm going to go ahead and put F in. F, whoops, I'll put F in. They're tied. So we'll put F in, most number of followers. And it was a 40. It's a 40. So now let's mark F as in. And so did that open up a new candidate? No, because we still need D to be done before we can um, do H. So then our next down on the list, are we able to put in I? Since D, the rule is most number, so that would be D. D can't fit in. So the next most number of follows would be I. Can I go in? And yes. I does fit, so I can put I there. You can see there's multiple um, options since we've got ties, and you might break them differently than I did. So that's 18 in I. So let's mark I is entered and F is entered. So F is entered, I is entered. Okay, now, um, what do we have left? We have D left and that is all the only candidate. So most number of followers too, but it's the only candidate. So D goes in and D is 40. So now we'll mark that one as in. So D's in. So the only candidate is H. So can H fit in there? And H can because it's 20. So that fits in. So we do need to have a sixth station for J and that's 30. All right. So that's most number of followers. Now let's go ahead and calculate the efficiency. So efficiency is going to equal task total task time divided by the actual, and so this is actual efficiency, not theoretical efficiency, the actual number of stations, stations times task time. So 289 divided by the actual number of stations, six times 60 um, seconds. So we end up with the same efficiency that we had last time, don't we? It was 289 and six divided by and six divided by, so equals 80 um, to eight, to eight or 80.28%, doesn't it? So then the balance delay will be the same as it was before with the um, longest processing time option, 1 minus 0 0.8028, which is equal to 0 0.1972 or 19.72%. Okay, so same efficiency that we, re that we obtained when we used the longest processing time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and then we'll do the last example, which is least number of followers.